Hello everybody and welcome back. This is Mark Gaming Shark. Today I'm bringing you another Ocean Trade Pack run here on Arcage. Um, today we are testing to see if the propellers that were introduced not too long ago are actually worth buying in any sense of the form. And if I give you guys a look right here, as you can see, I have the heroic ones that I bought not too long ago. Um, they did cost a nice penny, um, 400 gold. It, in my opinion, on most cases on Ezi server here, it is actually better to just go out and buy them because the materials that it costs to actually upgrade and then potentially fail upgrading will cost you more than just buying it flat out. So I bought the heroic one and I also have the arcane sails again and I have tested this method here going from the pumpkin patch of our normal area down here in Mahadevi and we are going to Friedrich Island. And as you can see here um, I've tested it with the propel it right now. This is the heroic version. Um, I tested it a few minutes ago with no propeller at all, just my normal arcane sails that most people can actually afford. They're not too uh, too pricey, but the propellant may be a little bit of a different story for some folks. But we are trying to determine if time-wise it is actually worth it to uh, purchase these you know, propellant or propellers as I like to call them. And we're trying to go there as quickly as possible, hitting our R and U ability. You will gain the U ability to boost there as quickly as possible. On my other trade run, I did run through with just the R every three minutes as much as I could. And going from the dock of the pumpkin patch to the uh, to the actual turn in to get the Guild of Stars it took me approximately 16 and a half minutes so we are currently sitting at 6 minutes and 52 seconds and we are doing a pretty good amount of time currently and the difference of the heroic or even upgrading both sails and propellant and everything like that um, for the propellant in general, since that is what this video is on, whenever you upgrade, your health for your total ship will increase, as you can see, by 9,000. Um, your siege damage reduction will also increase by percentage. The total weight will go down of your ship, thus making it lighter, having you know more people be able to uh, ride on your ship or put other things on there that may be heavier. And the Clipper Dash ability, which is what we've been using, goes down um, in seconds. The first one that you actually can get is, I believe, 19 seconds. So this is a three second faster cast time of, you know, or just having it up all the time with you. And you will want to hit that every chance you can get because it does boost you quite a bit and we are going to run up here this is a Friedrich run as I said earlier um, mostly for those Gilda stars we are trying to start to earn maybe to work for that submarine hopefully in the future that may be a little bit a ways off because currently I have got back into World of Warcraft um, as soon as I get back on there, transferred um, to my friend's server, and I start uh, getting up a little bit with them, I will start bringing you guys videos on that as well, and hopefully you will like that. may not exactly pertain so much to everyone here, since you guys on this video particularly are looking at Arcage, but just my channel in general, that's something to, to look at. Um... Also, in, I did a collaboration video with a good friend of mine, Lunar Complex, um, also known as Joe. He is 
he has a channel called Lap, also known as Let's Also Play. Um, if you look at that up, you can go to my subscriptions. Um, well, if I don't have it, it will be a Let's Also Play. That is the actual channel name, and it is a trove. Um, just Let's Play, me and him going through the whole thing. We'll definitely be having lots of videos coming out for that, and we'll bring you lots of content on that as well. Since you know it is under Tryon, which is a publisher of Arcage here. The only main difference is uh, Tryon actually made Trove, and Arcage is actually just published by Tryon, so they don't have too much control over Arcage but they definitely have complete control over Trove. So if you guys want to go check that out, it is Let's Also Play, also known as Lap, and it will be a Trove video. I'll put that link down there in the description for you guys. If you guys want to go check that out, um, we'll definitely be having lots of videos come up on there. Um, Joe's also a great just editor, You'll love the, the intro and everything that he's made for everything. And if you guys suggest videos or other videos you guys may want to see, feel free to comment on those videos, and we will try to bring those videos to you guys. Any uh, game that you guys may like, may want to enjoy, you know, just either comment on my video or comment over on the LAP channel, and we will try to get that to you guys. And just bring awesome content to you guys um, who's been supporting us through so much of our work just seeing you guys and your views and your awesome comments is really enough for us to really have a, a strong passion to bring you guys these videos and as you can see here we are slowly pulling into the port over here of Friedrich Hopefully we will not get attacked by pirates or anybody. We have been lucky so far. I was also lucky on the last video not to run into any problems. And hopefully this time we will not either. Um, that time I also gave you last time would be as soon as I hit the, the land here. I stealth automatically to avoid conflict. Um, you could speed up that time roughly by a minute or so. If you use a donkey with carrots, of course, with um, all the little max gear you can get for it. But typically, you know, going to Friedrich, you really want to just be really careful. You don't want to um, just run in there most of the time unless you have scouted it before and you know you will be okay. And we are just about to go off here. I'm going to go that and stealth automatically. As you can see, the main reason you would want to stealth here in Friedrich is whenever you disembark on your ship, it tends to make an extremely loud noise. Um, I don't know if my sound is actually on for it, but definitely people on the island who have their sound up hear that very often it's alerted and they start running around on their mounts and just looking for people. Um, as you can see, I actually came in from the right side of the island. Through my experiences here on Friedrich, I have determined that this is actually the best path to take and the lowest risk of being detected whenever you get on the island here. Regardless if there's actually people on the island to detect you, even if they come out, they tend to check this area last as they come around and then by that time you're you tend to be out of their normal runaround range uh, to be detected if of course you know you're anywhere from about 50 to 55 you should be okay but you definitely can cut off about a minute if you're feeling a little ballsy and just wanna ride up on your donkey and stealth maybe whenever you get to this rock that is typically what I do if I use my donkey because people really like to try to attack you you know as you come into the open area where they can see you very clearly um, they tend to be stealth 
uh, waiting, especially if they have heard your ship, uh, and they'll just be ready for you right around this area. But it's really nice because, you know, you can just run through here and just stealth mostly. I also have this 5 ability here that I can just imprison people, which is really nice because I can imprison, backflip, and they will be stuck within it. As you can see, there is a ton of reds just booking it right here. I will try to turn in as quickly as possible. And we did get it. And they may kill me here. Yeah, they probably will, but they're not going to get much from it, actually. Just the satisfaction of killing me. Which, in my case, isn't that bad. I actually have farming outfit on. So, even um, repair costs and everything is near to nothing. And as you can appear, see, I appeared right here. But, you know, huge ships of people. As you can see, an entire guild clearly decided to run up in here as well. Just with their ships, they probably have... A merchant ship coming in you know they're trying to protect it you have some from both angles here trying to come in but as I said you know that location we went through was just spot on and we didn't really run into any issues and according to the timer here when I stopped it whenever we turned it in we were actually looking at about 14 minutes and 15 to 20 seconds so we did cut down the time by almost two minutes. Um, so price-wise, that will, or price to time-wise, that will add up. Definitely on other voyages that are even shorter, you can boost there really quickly. Um, overall, I believe this investment will help us, especially to get to Friedrich, to get these Guild of Stars really quickly to farm them all up. It is definitely worth the purchase. Um, so that's it for this video. If you guys liked it, please hit that like and subscribe button. I will continue to bring you guys content as long as you guys like it. And the only way I can really judge that is if you comment, subscribe, or like. Also, you guys can follow me on Twitter at Shark Keller. That Keller is K-E-H-L-E-R. And Shark is as you would expect to spell it. Also, if you guys want to follow the lap channel as well, once again, we'll be bringing tons of content for that out. And definitely really cool style, lots of nice editing, and just some epic videos for you guys. I'll put all this in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next time.